Hello, everybody, and thank you for the kind introduction. My name is Sebastian Speer, and I'm speaking to you today from Berlin, Germany. This is actually my first presentation at the Inner Source Commons Summit, and I'm very happy to be here. My talk today will be about getting your money's worth out of the Inner Source Commons community. Just a couple of words about myself. I've been working as a developer and engineering manager for a long time. And right now I'm the director of engineering programs at Meltwater. There I'm responsible for working on our GitHub ecosystem on anything that improves collaboration across product and engineering. And I've also spent a lot of time looking into agile methods and how they can help our teams to reduce the friction in the process. Through that, I got interested in inner source and about a year ago, I joined the inner source commons. Uh, and most of the examples in this talk will be about what I've learned in that year. Now, what do I know about you? Well, I do know that you are at a summit right now. Maybe this is even your first one. So I suspect you want to learn more about inner source. That's awesome. Maybe some of you just really need that free t-shirt. But let's assume the main reason for all of us being here is we want to learn more about inner source. So in this talk, I will actually try to convince you of the benefits of joining the inner source commons. You might resist that a little bit, and hopefully I shall still win. So let's get into it. Getting your money's worth out of this community. How did that work for me? So initially, I wanted to learn more about inner source. That's why I was in the community in the first place. I was happy to find that the community had created what is called inner source patterns that describe specific problems and possible solutions for things in the inner source context. However, my challenge was that I was looking at these patterns just like this picture and it was extremely pretty, uh, but I had a hard time figuring out how has it been put together, how can I apply it, and those sorts of things. So I got lucky because I saw at a different conference, I saw somebody present their inner source license. So the presenter was called Cornelius. So after the conference, I talked to him and asked him more about the inner source license and how they had used it. And this was actually a way for them to share software across the different organizational units in their company. He's working for a pretty big brand in Germany. So eventually Cornelius and I decided we would write up a pattern about their approach together. So you can imagine this being me and Cornelius putting together tiles uh, in this pattern. Um, and through that, what I ended up learning is how are these patterns created? Uh, how are the mechanics of that? And it helped me to read the other existing patterns much better. And I made a similar experience together with Tom that's actually going to talk tomorrow about another pattern uh, that he has been working on in his company. So I found that a really good way for you to engage in a community, but also learn about inner source through these patterns. Also, there are a bunch of books around, but then if you're like me, you're reading these books and you still have questions. For example, I had a question about inner source metrics and how I can make sure that what I'm doing is actually having an impact uh, in my company and I wondered how to do that. So I asked a question in Slack and then Daniel from Betergia, he replied and he pointed me to a book that they had written called Managing Inner Source Projects. And there's a section in there about inner source metrics. And then I had a conversation with Daniel in Slack about that. So that was another example for me being able to go straight to the source, straight to the authors of some of those inner source books. At some point later, I was wondering, well, how can I best explain the benefits of inner source to other people at my company? And I knew that there was a marketing group around, so I figured they would know because they are responsible for looking at uh, success stories about inner source and promoting them and also helping people with the adoption of inner source and so on. So I joined that working group. Here's just an example of the, the board that they're working from. And I was happy to find that actually the skills that I have and the things that I've learned, I can contribute to that working group. And I ended up writing the inner source comments 101 so like a getting started guide for new people. So now you might wonder, well, how does that help me now contributing to such a working group in my inner source journey? Well, for me, 
it helped me to understand open source yet again, but from a slightly different angle. I had seen it from a software developer angle only, where you push source code, like a bug fix, or you want to get a feature into a project or stuff like that. But in a project like the Inner Source Commons, it's not so much about uh, software in itself, but it's rather about collaborating on, for example, things like documentation and, and other topics. So by joining a working group in the Inner Source Commons, which is an open source project in itself, you can learn how open source works. And I find that can be beneficial for, for you, especially if you're maybe a little bit further removed from the code and you haven't experienced open source firsthand. Because once you make that experience and understand how those mechanics work, that's going to be much easier for you to understand inner source and then through that help apply that at your company. Another other element that I find really helpful is getting a reality check from other inner source practitioners. So for example, for me, it happens really often, I get stuck in my own head. Uh, I have a question and can't really come up with alternative solutions anymore. For example, I had a question about does the tech stack of a project affect your ability to attract inner source contributors? And I just ended up asking that question in Slack. And then luckily, Isabel from Europace, she got back to me. She was happy to share her experience. And of course, every company's context is slightly different, but it's often very beneficial to just hear other opinions from other people. One thing that I want to mention here, the inner source comments runs under the Chatham house rule, which means that if you're talking to somebody, they shall not reveal your name or your company affiliation to anybody else, which means that you can pretty freely ask questions and reveal information because you don't have to be worried that that will have any negative impact on you or your brand or anything like that, right? So having said that, I've actually asked everybody that I'm mentioning here whether I'm allowed to use their name or their company's name in this presentation. So in summary, the benefits of contributing to the inner source commons community, you can learn through patterns. You can go straight to the source by talking to authors and other people using inner source techniques for many years. You get to practice open source yourself if you're contributing to working groups, for example, to the learning path or the marketing working group and so on. And you can get a reality check from other inner source practitioners that might, might have run into similar problems as, as you are facing right now. So hopefully now you're saying, I'm convinced. How do I join? Well, the first step many of you will have already done. So you join the inner source Commons Slack channel. This is where you can also ask questions about the conference today. Then I would recommend you introduce yourself, read the one-on-one guide, and then just lurk around for a little bit, see what happens. However, you can speed up your learning by contributing in any shape or form to the inner source comments, then you'll learn faster. And with that, thanks so much for listening. And I hope to talk to you all in Slack. Here are more places where you can read more about what I'm doing, what we're doing at my company, and ways to contact me. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Bye.